All right, guys, welcome back. So today we've got my buddy's Keltec PLR16 little 5.56 pistol, and uh, one of the main reasons I have this gun right now is, you know, he picked this gun up and started taking it to the range, and he started having some mal malfunctions with this little pistol, and so he got a hold of me. We started doing some research online, and um, you know, after we started reading some threads, we noticed that there were other people who were having pretty much the same issues that he was having. And it seemed like the common fix for all of these issues was um, a new extractor and a new spring because I guess the, the spring that's in under the extractor was a little too tight and it wasn't letting the uh, extractor grab a hold of the case properly so it was having ejection issues or extraction issues and uh, it seems like that fixed up pretty much everybody's uh, little pistol. So that's what we're going to be doing is putting in a new extractor and a new spring and you know hopefully getting this thing fixed up. Now I did do already do a disassembly and reassembly video of this little pistol so uh, for this video I'm going to jump right ahead to having the extractor out and getting that changed and if you want to see how it disassembles or how we got to that point uh, I'll leave a link to the disassembly and reassembly video down in the description box if you want to watch that uh, to see how to break this gun completely down. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it and get this extractor and spring changed out. Uh, from here to get your extractor out it's really pretty simple. You're just going to need a little punch and right here if you don't know that is your extractor uh, right here. So what you want to do is just kind of put a little bit of pressure on it just kind of squeeze it and then you've got this pin right here that runs all the way through it. So just kind of hold your finger over it, take your punch, and this should push right out. Just like that. As you can see, the punch is all the way through it. Remove your punch, and then you can take your extractor up and off just like that. And you can see the spring kind of fell down. The spring's supposed to be right here, but it kind of fell down in there. So here is the original spring. and the extractor. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and set these two aside because those are getting replaced and we're gonna take and start getting our new ones put back in. So here is the new one and this is a DPMS extractor and a spring if anybody wants to know what brand we're using. So there's the new one. We'll go ahead and get out the new spring And here is the new spring. And I don't know how well you can tell, but one end is a little bit bigger, this end here, and that's gonna go down in the extractor right there just like that, and it should hold into place. So that's what it's gonna look like. So from there, all you've gotta do is just sit your extractor back down on your bolt just like that and as you can see the back of it is going to be raised up because that's where the spring is so all you're going to have to do is just kind of hold it and push pressure down on that until you can see say so you can see through the hole right here you want to make sure that's lined up you can just take and uh, push your pin back through just like that and you want to make sure that you do get it even on both sides so just take a punch and kind of push it through until you have it even on both sides. And that's all there is to it, to uh, change out your extractor and your spring. Uh, not real tough to do, and uh, you know, hopefully this will get this fixed up and uh, make this little kel be reliable again. All right, guys, so everything is put back together, ready to go. Uh, we're out here at the range. I got a couple different magazines loaded up. I've got a P-Mag in it now. I've got a USGI mag, and then one other mag that he uh, sent with the gun that I'll show you here when we get it out. Uh, but let's just go ahead and start running some rounds through it and uh, you'll see if we fix this thing. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but man, this thing throws a fireball. Well. I don't know how well you can see that. Did have a little malfunction there.
Well, not looking so good so far. Go ahead and get rid of that round. And, uh, oh. I don't know how well I'd be able to show you, but there actually is a round in the chamber, so we were getting a double feed. I don't know if this one's gonna fire or not. As you can see, that one fired, and then we got another malfunction here. All right, let's keep going. Another malfunction right there. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely picking up another round because I do have another live round in the uh, in the chamber. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Probably not. Uh, but it's loading another round, but pinching the next one right here and not letting it fully extract. So I don't know if that extractor did the job or not. And uh, after we finish this magazine, like I said, I've got other magazines. Um, you know, maybe it's just the P Mag. I don't know. So uh, let's see if we can work through this magazine, and then we'll we'll change it out. No, I don't know how well you can see in there, but you got one trying to come out, one trying to go in. So far. This, uh, now I tell you, we're empty. I'm going to go ahead and toss this mag aside. Let's, uh, let's switch it up to a USGI, see if we have any better luck. <clears throat> Here we go. Same thing. <clears throat> Same thing again. So I think as of right now, we officially have a single shot bolt action. Definitely not wanting to work. Well, got three shots that time and then we all jammed back up in there again. One last option, we got this uh, I don't know they don't have a name on this magazine MSAR maybe I'm not real sure what this is let's uh see if we have any better luck with this one All right, guys. Well, that mag seemed to work. Um, when I did look down in there, um, there was an empty case just kind of sitting in there. It wasn't stuck or anything, but it uh, it was just kind of sitting in there. But as you can see, it locked back. Mag is empty, so it did work. Now, I don't know how many rounds he has through this gun. Uh, I guess I should have asked him that. Um, I don't I don't know much about this gun, so if you guys have it, I don't know if there's a break-in period for these. Um, but yeah, so far it's, you know, this is not working. It's not fixed. Uh, so far it worked with this MSAR mag. If you guys know what that is, I'm not familiar with this one. Um, but let me put some rounds back in the other one and we'll try it again. <clears throat> so it looks like I've got about five or six rounds left in the, uh, in the P mag. So let's see if we have any better luck.
Well, we got a couple more rounds off before it jammed up. And again, there is a live round in the chamber. Definitely jammed up pretty bad again. <clears throat> it ain't working. It's jamming up pretty darn bad. I'll uh Try this USGI one more time. See if we have any better luck, but it's not looking good. No. Jammed up pretty bad again. So, I don't know guys. Um, the fix that I thought we were gonna have according to what everybody else was doing obviously didn't work. And uh, we're definitely going to have to go back to the drawing board. So if you guys have one of these guns, you know, this PLR-16 by kel and you had these issues and you were able to get it fixed, uh, definitely let us know down in the comment section below, um, you know, what you did to fix it. Because, uh, you know, I read reviews on this thing, and, uh, you know, it seems like there's a lot of people out there that like them, a lot of people who are SBR on them. So, I mean, obviously they do work, and... Uh, you know, surely there's a fix out there for it. And, you know, normally for me, um, I like to try to fix my guns myself. You know, I don't like sending guns back. Uh, I only had to send one gun back, and that was a Taurus that I had years ago, uh, you know, back before I really tore into guns and, and worked on them. But uh, normally I like to, you know, try to fix them myself. You know, I, I don't like sending them back. But if we can't get a fix for this, he's just going to have to contact kel -Tec and uh, see what he can do about sending it back, and hopefully they can get it running. But, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully, uh, you know, one of you guys have a uh, have a suggestion on what we can do to uh to hopefully try and get this fixed and uh, you know if we do get something figured out whether it's us or sending it back to Keltec, i'll definitely do an update video uh letting you guys know uh how it's running if they got it running or uh, you know anything like that but anyhow guys i appreciate everybody watching i appreciate everybody subscribing and we'll catch you in the next one